Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be building another freight car here, and we're going to be building this Canadian National Cylindrical Covered Hopper Car. And this is a four bay version, and this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build now. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer. Under it, a sideways dark oak bed skate. Then on the next block forward on bottom, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle between them. Then take deep slate tile stairs, and we're going to go three wide in the middle in an upside down, back to back, T-shaped pattern. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then put a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels, and open two dark oak men skates on the middle on each side of the truck here. Then on the top middle, we're going to do four light gray concrete on the center. And then up here, we're going to extend our light gray concrete down the middle on the second layer, 25 blocks long. So another 25 blocks past where that inner wheel is. And then four above the wheels. Then once you have 25 blocks on the next block down and forward, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And then again, three wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern. In front of that, a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then again, we're going to put a skeleton with our skeleton skull on each wheel and open two bend skates on the middle on each side of the truck. Then add four more light gray concrete on this top middle. Take a dark oak stair and stack it up to this middle top block here for the coupler at this end. And then under it here, we need a sideways dark oak bent skate. Now come up on this second layer, one block over from this inner wheel. And we're gonna put an upside down polish andesite stair facing this way here. Make sure it's upside down. And then three light gray concrete, and then an upside down stair going this way. Then skip one block over, so there's a gap of space, and do an upside down stair this way. Three light gray concrete again, and then a stair going this way. Then move from this end, one block over from this wheel. Upside down stair going this way, three light gray concrete, and a stair going this way. Skip a block, a stair going this way, three concrete, and a stair going this way. Then we're gonna come over to the other side, and we're just gonna copy that pattern directly across to this other side so it's lined up with it here. And these will be where all the unloading bays are on the bottom. Then put three light gray concrete between all four of these sets of stairs here. Just like that. Then we're going to come underneath this bay and on the bottom middle centered on it here we're going to make a three by three upside down stair pyramid under here, making sure it wraps around all four corners like this. And we're going to do that on the center of all the rest of these unloading bays with polish andesite stairs upside down. So that in the end, we'll end up with four three by three upside down pyramids underneath here all centered on each bay and making sure all the stairs wrap around all four of the corners on each one. Then on the side of this here, we're gonna put a skeleton skull and a birch vent skate. And we're gonna do that in the same pattern on all four of these. And then we will also do the other side. So a vent skate and a skeleton skull and repeat that pattern on all four of them on this side here. Then we're gonna take our polished andesite stairs upside down again on the second layer and put five across here, five across here, five across here, and five across here. And of course, we're gonna repeat on the other side here. And do the same thing, five upside down stairs on all four of them on this side. Then we're gonna take out polished andesite top slabs, get two in here, two rows of three across this gap, and two in here. Then on the other side, we're gonna repeat, so two in here, two rows of three in here, and two in here. 
Then on the end, on this outer edge, we're gonna come forward by four slabs here, and then one here. So it wraps around and repeat it on this side. And then we'll do the same thing on the other end. So come out to here and across here. And repeat on this side as well here. Then we're gonna come up where these gaps are, and we're gonna put a single light gray concrete here and here. And that one's not supposed to be there. And we'll repeat on this end. So a single concrete here and here. Then on these slabs, three light gray concrete in the middle. And same thing on this end, three right here. Then we're gonna do upside down polish andesite stairs, like this on each side, sticking out past the concrete by one. And then we're just gonna come all the way down this outer edge with a full row of upside down polish andesite stairs here. And then we're gonna bring it down here and we're gonna come one block past this light gray concrete. Then repeat on this side, so one block past this with upside down stairs. And then same thing, a full row of upside down polish andesite stairs facing outward coming all the way across this side. Until the line's up over here. Now on top of this three light gray concrete, we're gonna do another three by three of light gray concrete up here. And then we're gonna repeat on this side. So a three by three right here in the middle. Then two columns of three here, so it sticks out. And we're just gonna come all the way across the side here, three blocks tall, with our light gray concrete, and bring it down to the other end. And come so it's sticking out on this last stair like this. And then same thing here, three tall here, so it sticks out. And then go ahead and repeat, and fill this whole side. Three blocks tall, with light gray concrete again and bring it down to this other end and then down here it sticks out past the middle concrete by one right here and actually this needs to be four blocks tall so we're just gonna raise all this light gray concrete in the same pattern up another block on all of it here so it's four blocks tall of light gray concrete then we're gonna come on this top outer edge and start here and do a full row of outward facing polish andesite stairs and come all the way down to this end sticking out one here. Then repeat on this side and do a full row of outward facing polish andesite stairs outward all the way across here. Then we're gonna fill the top middle here with light gray concrete three wide. And we're just gonna bring that all the way across the top and fill in the whole top of this with light gray concrete. Just keep it coming here and bring it right down to the end of the stairs here. Then in this cutout here, we're gonna put an inward facing polish andesite stair on each corner and then an upside down stair facing inward on each top corner like this. Then two stone brick walls here, then two on either side of the top. And we will repeat that on the other end. So get an inward facing stair here and here and an inward facing upside down stair here and here. Make sure it's the right way. Then on the bottom middle, two stone brick walls, and then two on either side of the top like this. Then right here, we're gonna put three polished deep slate walls across the middle, and then three grindstones on top. Then right here, we're gonna put a birch fence and close a jungle trap door on it for the brake wheel. Behind that fence, we need two sideways chains across here. And then above this chain, we need one vertical chain right here. Then we're gonna put two end rods in the middle right here in a column. Then on this corner, we're gonna do a column of six birch fences coming up. And then we're gonna repeat on this side, so six birch fences coming up here and also six on the center, right in the middle here, like that. Then we're gonna come on the side here and we're gonna add another column of fences right here, up to the top. 
and then another column on this side right here up to the top. Then we're gonna add a fence gate on the gap right here. And then on this corner, we're gonna do a full column of birch fence gates coming up for a ladder. And then come around the corner and do a full column of fence gates right here as well, coming up to the top. Then we'll do the other end, which is easier because there's no brake equipment. So come down here. On this corner, put two columns of six birch fences coming up to the top. And then six in the center right here on the end. And then two columns of six on this corner. Then take out a birch fence gate on this corner and do a column coming up here to the top. And then wrap around the corner here and do a column right here on this side. Then we'll also put one on this side on the gap right here. Now we're gonna take out iron trap doors here and we're gonna put three across this light gray concrete here and then we're gonna come down the entire top down each side of the light gray concrete. And we're gonna bring that down to the other end. And then three across this end right here. Then we're gonna come up here and crouch. And we need to be on this same level here. So on top of where the fence is over here. And we're gonna do three by five of iron trap doors up here to make a platform. So it's five wide and comes out to each corner of these fences. And then we are going to repeat on the other end. So come up here and crouch. And same thing on top of these fences. Then we're going to go five wide and three long with iron trap doors across the top of this end as well here. Just like that. Then we're going to come on this top middle with polished andesite slabs. Leave three empty blocks of space and do two slabs then four empty blocks of space and do two slabs. Same pattern on this other end. So leave three empty blocks of space, two slabs, then four and two slabs. So it's like that. Next, come on this right hand side of the car on top, two blocks from the end. Knock out a column of three and put in mangrove planks. Then we're gonna knock out these two, then these two like this. Then we need to come behind here and make sure we fill the gap behind here with light gray concrete so there's no holes. Then we're going to put an upside down mangrove stair here, a right side up stair going this way, upside down going this way, right side up going this way. Then right here, knock out another column of three and put in mangrove planks. Then on bottom we're going to come over two, actually over three then up to the top and one here and fill this with macro planks and that makes the CN logo so it looks like that then down under here we're going to put two mangrove buttons in this corner and we need to repeat on the other side so we're going to come and do the same process on this end up here so knock out these three put in mangrove planks then knock out these two and then these two Make sure we get behind here filled with light gray concrete. Then an upside down stair here, then right side up going this way, then upside down this way, then right side up this way. Then we knock out this column of three, put in mangrove planks. Then on bottom, we're gonna come over three, then up two, and then forward one, and fill that with mangrove planks as well. Then under this corner, we're gonna put two mangrove buttons here. Then we're gonna detail the other end, so come down here, one block over, and one block down from the top. And we're going to knock out a line of five coming sideways right here. And then fill that with mangrove planks, then put a row of five blank mangrove signs under it. Then one on the center, and two mangrove buttons on either side like this. Then we're gonna add one more mangrove sign 
right here. And then we will repeat on this side. So come over here, one block down, one block over, knock out a row of five, put in five mangrove planks, then five mangrove signs under it. Then one sign on the middle down here, two buttons on either side, and also a sign right there, one block over from this, then two buttons here. Then we'll copy on here, so we're gonna come down here and add two buttons here. Then we're gonna take our mangrove signs on this edge of this third layer down here. Right here above this wheel, put two mangrove signs here. Then one centered between these two central bays. And then two right here on this end. Then we repeat on this side. So we're gonna put two right here. One centered down there. And two signs right here and make sure one centered in the middle here like this now switch to a bamboo sign here right here one block over put a bamboo sign here and then on the other side of these mangrove signs put a bamboo sign every other block over to here and then that one's not supposed to be there then same thing on the other side of this a bamboo sign every other block coming across here right here and then of course repeat the whole process on this side so one goes right here then every other block across this gap then every other block across this gap and then finally one right here just like that now take out a dark oak sign under these letters here, and we're gonna put three signs in a row right here. Then we will repeat over here. So come under the letters here. Put three dark oak signs here. Then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom with a black banner and white die. And we're gonna put a white border on it, and then a horizontal in the middle. And then we'll place this. So we're gonna place this one here and then a plain black one next to it. And finally repeat on this side. So this one here and a black one next to it. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Canadian National Cylindrical Covered Hopper. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.